just to let everybody know that uh, Drama Group took a break for a year and we started again. This is our first play uh, coming back online. <laughs> Uh, this particular play is called Canada A. And just a couple of household things first. Uh, if for some reason there was an emergency, you can go up this door here, it goes on to our loading dock, and there is a ramp that will take you out. You can also go up the back door there, or the one on the deck. And when we marshal up for emergencies, we always marshal up in the corner of that parking lot back there, right back there. So if there's any, I don't think anybody's staying for lunch today that I know of. Uh, on Monday, we had a great crowd. We had about, I don't know, 30 people here, and a lot of them stay for lunch. We invited other day programs, and they can stay for lunch if they want, because we're, we're inviting people here this time. We have six performances here, and we hit the road for three performances. So we're trying that this year. We used to always go out. We did a couple here, but this year we're trying to invite more people here to see how it goes, and so far, so good. So, uh, first of all, I just want to say that, in the, you know, I have a few special people here. We have, my mother's here, Joan, and her husband, Ian. And just to let you know, they are going to become residents of Victoria shortly. Oh. We have Cecile, who everybody knows. Yeah. Yes. And her soon to be husband, George, sitting behind her. Yay! Ah. All right. And we have Steve's parents sitting here. <coughs> Mr. and Mrs. McHugh are sitting there. So That's great. Okay, that sort of covers off, I think, what we need to do there, right? Okay, so first, so, on your programs, what we did, we, we have some uh, some stuff on there that you can look at yourself. There's a joke on there and how to spell Canada, and these three foods at the top, the third line, uh, what's your favorite Canadian food? Is it poutine, smoked salmon, or back bacon? We're not going to ask you, those are just three foods we thought of. We thought, well, okay, when we were talking about it, we thought, well, if you had to eat something for 30 days straight, which one of those three would you pick? <laughs> but just to warm you up for Canada, eh? Here's a question. How many provinces are there in Canada? You can just shout it out. It doesn't matter. Whatever. How many, Lynn? Ten. Ten provinces. Does that sound right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's good. Yeah. All right. That's good. We agree. And how many territories? Three. Lynn. <laughs> how many is that? Three. Three territories. That's correct. Yay. You were here on Monday watching the play, weren't you? All right. You don't get to answer this question, Lynn. Uh, what is the capital city of Canada? Capital city of Canada. Ottawa. Ottawa. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Now a tricky question. What three oceans border Canada? Oh. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, let's see. Lynn Clark was here on Monday. Let's see if Lynn Clark remembers. Lynn Clark. Is there one that? Pacific Shore, or like, uh, um, one of them is, um, can I name one? Pacific Ocean? Sure. Pacific. Oh, yeah, well, ah, I was just trying to get that out. Alright, so ah. Pacific, anybody else got one? Atlantic. Atlantic, how about the third one? Arctic. Arctic, Arctic. there you go. Pacific, Atlantic, and Arctic. Woohoo! Alright. So that's our, that's getting you in the mood for Canada A, and we're going to start our production, I believe, right about now. Canadian citizens. All our participants are new Canadian citizens within the last six months. 
And we're going to ask them some questions, see how much they know about Canada. But first of all, let me introduce a few people on stage here. We have over here Officer Andy. He will be helping out Mr. NHL here, who will be telling us if goals are good or not. He's the official referee of that. Over here, we have Officer Earl. He will be overseeing the game, telling us if we're doing it right or maybe we need to change a few things. And here, ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause to Eddie Lack, the number one goalie now of the Vancouver Canucks. Yay! Yay! Now, you know, a week ago he was number two. <laughs> we used to say the backup goalie, but now we have to say number one. Okay, there you go. Okay, so here's how the game works. First of all, we'll introduce each contestant, and then they'll tell you how long they've been a Canadian citizen in their name, and then they will take the hockey stick off. Oh, yeah, sorry. They are number one. They are number one. That's good. Yeah, that was a couple years ago. Um, so they'll take the hockey stick from Mr. NHL, and they'll try to score a goal on Eddie Lack. And if Mr. NHL calls it a good goal, they will win a Tim's card. Woo! Then after that, we have a special guest that will come out and ask each one of our contestants a multiple choice question. At that point, if they're not sure of the answer, they can ask you, the audience, to help out. Now, please don't yell out the words when, or the, the answer when you hear the question. Just wait until we ask for your help, okay? If it's necessary. And then, at that point, if they get the question right, they win a Tim's card! Yay! Okay, then we hit the lightning round. During the lightning round, our special guest will come out once again with an object that you would find in Canada. The first contestant to uh, buzz in will have the opportunity to identify that object, and if they do identify it correctly, they will win a... Tim Hart! Yeah, that's right, a Tim Hart card, okay! Let's get on with the game, let's meet our first contestant. Could you please stand and tell the audience your name and how long you've been a Canadian citizen? I'm Lady Gaga, and I'm Canadian citizen for eight days. Oh, okay, Lady Gaga. Then take that hockey stick from Mr. NHL and try to see if you can win a Tim's card by scoring on Eddie Lack. Wow, wish me luck. All yeah. right. Oh, my God. All right, Mr. NHL, was that a good goal? It was! Oh, a Tim's card! Thank you! For Lady Gaga. Congratulations there. There you go, Officer. Andy? Okay, Lady Gaga, now, as a new Canadian citizen, what are you looking forward to doing for the first time? That was a lucky shot. Oh. Oh, I forgot about him. That was a lucky shot. Thank you. <laughs> Living in an igloo. Living in an igloo? Good. Good luck with that. Wow. Okay, please welcome to the stage our first special guest. We have Tinkerbell. Yay! <laughs> Hey. All right, Tinkerbell. Uh, be the question I'm wondering. Thank you, thank you, and my question is, what is the capital city of BC? Is it Vancouver, Victoria, Whistler, or Never Never Land? Victoria. <laughs> oh, Lady Gaga, what would be your answer there? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh. I need some help, please. Oh, there you go. It's an opportunity to help. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to ask Tinkerbell to repeat the question, and then you just shut out your answer, okay? And it'll be up to Lady Gaga to decide what she wants to say. Go ahead, Tink. What is the capital city of BC? Is it Vancouver, Victoria, Whistler, or Never Never Land? Audience, what do you think? Just yell it out. What do you think? Victoria. Victoria. Never Never Land. <laughs> All right, Lady Gaga, there's a couple of there, a couple of ideas for you. What do you think? The capital of BC. Oh, uh, I will say Victoria. Hey, and I'll say there's a card for you, Tinkerbell. Have a seat. We'll have you back later in the show, Tinkerbell. Thank you very much. Uh, now, let's meet our second guest. Could you please stand? Could you please tell the audience your name and how long you've been a Canadian citizen? My name is My name is Blake from Greece. And how long? Two weeks. Two weeks. Whoa. Okay. Well, Blaine from Glee, would you like to come over here and take that hockey stick from Mr. NHL and see if you can score a goal on any back on the coveted Tim's card? Here we go. Whoa. Well, Mr. NHL, was that a good goal? It was. Congratulations. Blaine from Glee wins a card. Okay. Now then, Blaine. That's a lucky shot. 
Minister of Canada, could it be Stephen Harper, Barack Obama, Michael Bublé, or Christy Clark? Hmm. Well, Cecil, what do you think? Prime Minister of Canada? I'm not sure. I think I need some help. <laughs> My goodness gracious, a third opportunity audience to help out a contestant. Let's get John Cretchen to repeat that question, and then you yell out your answer, okay? <laughs> Who is the Prime Minister of Canada? <clears throat> Could it be Stephen Harper, Barack Obama, Michael Bublé, or Christy Clark? Mm -hmm. Audience, what do you think? Stephen, Stephen Harper. Just yell it out. Stephen Harper? Okay, well, yeah. Cecil has to make up his mind. Cecil, for uh, the card. I'll say Stephen Harper. Congratulations, the third correct answer to the Lord of the card. Thank you very much, John Gretchen. We'll have you back when you're in the show. Yes, please, stand up and tell the audience your name. Abba, are you like the four in one Abba? The five months. You've been here for five months. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness gracious gosh. Well, Abba, would you like to go over there and take that hockey stick from Mr. NHL and try your luck on Eddie Lack to see if you can get yeah. Tim's card? Whoa! 
Well, Mr. NHL, was that good? It was a good call. Congratulations, Abba. It seems like no one could miss. What'd you think? What'd you think, there, Ed? About that shot? Oh, go ahead. Go, Canucks. Go. Go, Canucks. Go. Go, Canucks. Go. Go, Canucks. Go. Go. Uh, being a wise in there, aren't you? Okay. Okay, let's go. All right, so, Adam, the 4 and one Adam, what would you like to do oh, as a no. new Canadian citizen? I guess the fever. I guess the Just fan. Just the fever. <laughs> Maybe I won't. <laughs> Anyways, let's walk up to the stage. Our last special guest, the one and only, the right honorable Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Okay. Wait a second. I'm the most famous Canadian ever. My name is William Shatner. Let me tell you a joke. Why, why did the Canadian rancher ride his horse? Because, because the horse was too heavy to carry. <laughs> Mr. Shatner, you have a choice. Either you take yourself off the stage, or my partner and I are going to take you off. Maybe I'm Scotty. Well, thank you again, Officer Earl, for getting the game back on track. That was a close one. I don't know what that was all about, but I'm very sorry, Pierre Elliott Joe. Could you please ask your question? Thank you. Um, name the two famous Canadian characters who went by the last name Mackenzie. Was it Lucy and Ricky, Fred and Barney, Daniel and Henrik, or Bob and Doug? Well, out of four and one, what do you think? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Sub tuber, I don't know. Oh, she doesn't seem to know! <laughs> She doesn't know. So what we're going to do, we're going to get Pierre Elliott Trudeau to repeat that question, then you just yell out the answer you think is correct. Pierre? Name the two famous Canadian characters, not nearly as famous as myself, who went by the names of Blank and Blank Mackenzie. Was it Lucy and Ricky, Fred and Barney, Daniel and Henrik, or Bob and Doug? So, what do you think, audience? Just yell it out. Bob and Doug! Bob and Doug! Bob and Doug! You mean Bob and Doug? Okay, well, let's see what... Ever for the card. That is correct. Congratulations! <laughs> All right, have a seat there. We'll have your back in the show now. Yes, go ahead. Uh, this now brings us to the lightning round. This is where, once again, like I said before, we'll have our special guest come out with an item that you would find in Canada, and the first contestant to buzz in. Will have the opportunity to identify that object, and if they do, they will win the Tim's card. And of course, you know, Canada A. After that round, will stand for the national anthem, of course. So let's see if the contestants' uh, buzzers are working. Contestants. Oh, that's wonderful news! All right, so let's welcome back to the stage. Our, once again, uh, we have Tinkerbell. Well, now let's see what Tinkerbell's got today. What have we got, Tink? Show the audience, Tinkerbell. Hang on a second there. Let the audience see that first. Go ahead. Oh, my goodness gracious. Gosh, it's a varmint. Okay. Wow. Abba, you buzzed in. What is that? A beaver. A beaver! Congratulations! Hey! Can we just wait over there, Tinkerbell? We'll bring out our next special guest. Please welcome once again, Margaret from Venice the Menace. Woo! What's the Margaret got, I wonder? Oh, it's Cecil! Cecil, what would that be? Oh, I think that's a polar bear! It is a polar bear! There's another card for you! Oh, congratulations! And now, once again, please welcome John Critchen. And what would John have? Oh, my goodness gracious gosh, what is that? Whoa! Blaine from Glee, what is that? Um, hockey puck. Hockey puck, congratulations, right there! Now, our last special guest, please welcome once again one of the most famous Canadians, 
Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's Lady Gaga. What have we got here, Lady Gaga? Mm, I really like the flag with the bikini, but it's the one with the maple leaves and the Canadian flag. Yes! Galento! There you go! That's great! Let's give our contestants a big hand, everybody! They did really well! Yes, sir! All right, now, don't forget, we're going to close with the national anthem. If you could stand. Stand. Roger. <laughs> Take that programs, you're welcome to, and uh, have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you.